In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to install Jiral. For that, I'm going to use the UV library according to this library. So it's the extremely fast Python package and project manager written in Rust. And it already gained lots of popularity and it's quite easy to use. So first, we need to install the UV library by simply uh, typing pip install UV. And after that, you can initialize your project just by typing UVINIT, which will initialize the project. And for simplicity, I'm going to move to like Visual Studio Code Editor. And here you can see the configuration file. This is the configuration file and then the Python version. And we have other like readme, git ignore, and main.py file as well. These are the optional files, right? And uh, in order to like install Jiral, so when I search, I found this issue uh, inside UV library. But by the time you watch this video, this issue might already be closed. And then you just uh, need to like run UV install Jiral or UV. Uh, add Jiral to install the Jiral library. But for now, simply you just need to copy this code. So which is just redirecting us to the source file, basically these URLs. So basically this URL and then simply you need to copy it and then paste it inside your uh, project file. So somewhere here, down below here, right? So simply it's the it, it's providing the configuration for the GDAL and just save it. And after that, uh, you can type UV add GDAL. And once you do that, uh, it will automatically install the GDAL uh, inside your virtual environment. And right now, in order to use that, so maybe you can type from OSGO import GDAL command here and then you can save the file and then you can try to run it using uv run and then the name of the file right it says hello from uh, uv that means uh, this line successfully passed for example if i try to import the uh, matplotlib dot pyplot is plt and then um, save it and run it now, it says that no model found map.lib, right? Uh, if there is an issue, so it will um, pop up with the error message. But in our case, uh, since we already installed the GDAL, that's why uh, it has no issue running our file. So yeah, this is the fastest way to install GDAL. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll see you in next.